Hello, and right here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Link and Creek. We're currently working on the Field 22 contract. We're working on cultivating here with the John Deere 9570 RT along with the Landall. I don't remember the model number on this Landall cultivator here. I've been doing the whole field here myself so far at a whopping six miles an hour. For some reason, I mean, this is supposed to go nine, but it only goes at six. Um, anyway, I wish I'd uh, race something around so I can turn around a little quick and that might make a little more sense, right? Got the GPS set up here. We're almost, uh, almost done with the field here. I'll probably just throw a hired worker on this and let the hired worker hopefully uh, finish. And then uh, we're going to hopefully uh, go do some harvesting maybe after we sleep for the night. I just realized it is getting like a little bit late in the game here. Uh, Time-wise, that is. It seems that that uh, changes up the contracts uh, slightly here. Probably should uh, do that because, yeah, that's going to get uh, dark on us here pretty quick. So now almost done with the field, everyone. Let's go check the contract here a minute. Also, I need to finish up field. Let's see, it's your field 12 as well. Uh, of course, but I didn't quite finish that one here before we wrapped it up last time. So we're uh, 63, wow, 63%. It sure looks like we got more than that done to me because, uh, oh, there's another section over there. I forgot about that. That's right. Now there's section. I got that section there done, but I forgot there's one way on that end too. Okay. Anyway, and then field 12. Yeah, 12 is almost done here. So anyway, we'll probably uh, let's throw a hired worker on this one again. Remember, we got to make sure we uh, deactivate the what. That is probably the AI extension. If I do that, let's do normal. Uh, left, shift, and H will bring up the AI extension commands, by the way. So we're just going to make a regular hired worker. Probably would be the best list. I did cultivate around the edge here. So hopefully that will work. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other uh, cultivator here as well. Let's go to the 8345R. Uh, shift, H, turn off... Uh, AI extension. Also, let's close course play here. We don't need course to open at the moment. Close that. And we'll just hire a worker. Hopefully, a regular hired worker will work. If I remember correctly, but this particular cultivator, I think I tried in the past, does not like the AI extension, so worth noting. Also, turn on the track through there just a little bit. I just don't like a little bit loud. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, leave that that. Hopefully, that'll get uh, taken care of. How are we looking over here? Backing up, I guess. Oh, well. Anyway, hopefully he's going to get that uh, job done. Let's uh, see if we can fast forward time here real quick a minute and uh, skip the next morning. Uh, as I mentioned last episode, everyone, I think we need to upgrade our harvesting kit here this episode. We're going to be working on that. And I left a little hint uh, last episode as to uh, which combine we would be upgrading to. And like I said, I, th I think it's probably pretty obvious when I said a class 11 combine. Now, as far as I know, I mean, there's only one class 11 combine out there at the moment, right? I don't know, someone correct me if I'm wrong on that. Yeah, about 8 o'clock in the morning, that's usually a pretty good time to uh, start. It's a nice uh, daylight going here. So anyway, uh, going for class 11 combines here. Let's go to the harvesters, and in case it's not already apparent, let's see, let's see what we can find here. John Deere S780, S790i. Huh, that looks like a new combine. I don't remember seeing that one before. This has the, yes, it does have the 3D tracks. Okay, very nice. I think this is the one that might be available for the console users as well. Don't quote me on that one, but I think it might be. Okay, so anyway, looking for the combine I'm looking for. That is not the one, really. I don't think is it. Maybe it is. Let's see what's here. Is that the one? It does have 3D tracks. Okay, that actually might be the one. Didn't think it had that uh, picture on it, but that could very well. And I'm going to double check here and make sure. Yep, yeah, that probably is the one. Okay, so the John Deere X9 1100, everyone, of course, is, uh, like I said, as far as I know, the only Class 11 combine currently on the market. I believe both, like, Fent, New Holland, Case, uh, their biggest ones are all considered Class 10. And I'm not sure how they figure those class numbers out of them, but apparently this one, as far as I understand it, is considered a Class 11. So anyway, tank standard, which is, how much does that hold? 16,000, okay. Tank standard two. Wow, standard hopper, that's a, I think I'm just going to go probably the standard, to be honest, seven. Kind of like the looks of the standard myself, but yeah, with that big old hopper, basically 27,000. Uh, okay, crawler tracks. Two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. 36 inches, there we go, four-wheel drive. LSWs, no, those actually look small on the combine. <laughs> Seven LSWs. Ah, oh, there's some bigger LSWs. Okay, then we get the 1400s, the LSW 14. Okay, those look a little bit bigger. Although, to be honest, I mean, they still, if you ask me, look pretty small on this combine, don't they? 
They still look kind of small. So I think we're going to go with 36 four-wheel drive. Uh, Lizard brand. Oh, we got Michelin's. Uh, okay. I think we'll just go Lizard brand. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, crawler, 36 four-wheel drive. Standard lights. Standard lights premium. Deluxe lights. Deluxe light. Uh, okay. Deluxe light premium. Sounds good to me. Sounds expensive. Axis configuration. Yeah, might as well go wide. Oh, axle. I'm sorry. Axle configuration, not axis. Uh, John Deere logo. Yes, John Deere logo, please. Aussie configuration. Probably not. Global positioning. Absolutely want that. Okay, well, that should be everything. Main color. I wonder what this changes. Oh, probably the hopper up there. That's what that's for, I bet. Okay, which actually possibly doesn't change anything on this configuration. That might be for the painted hard tank up top. Not the foldable one. Okay, we're going to purchase that. Uh, I think we'll probably just stick with the one combine for now, I guess. That's probably pretty good. Unfortunately, I don't think there's like actually a 746 flex draper head, huh? Not sure what that's actually for. Don't think the 50-foot header's ever been released for this game. That would definitely be a cool addition if you ask me one. The is it 50 or no 55 foot, I think. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it's the 55 foot header that uh, you can get with the John Deere X9. We do have the uh, Midwest Duras 50 footers. Also got a 60 footer here somewhere as well. I'm thinking that's probably the one we're gonna go with, to be honest, everyone, because let's uh let's face it, 60 foot header on this big combine. That seemed like a good fit, if you ask me. So the Midwest Duras, uh, John Deere Green. Yep, we're gonna go. I'm pretty sure that's John Deere Green, right? Yes, it is. We'll buy one of those. Okay, money is going down fast, everyone, after making those purchases. I mean, oy, that is definitely one expensive combine. Pretty much a million dollar kit here with, uh, yeah, actually, it is over a million dollars, isn't it? Oh, actually, not quite. According to the shop screen there, but $994,000. So just shy of a million dollars here between the combine and the header. Yeah, almost a million dollars, everyone, for the combine. That, that's uh, that's starting to get a little bit ridiculous if you ask me price tag. That is that is some serious money. I'm not exactly sure the uh, cost of like say an S790, but I'm guessing that's probably more in the $600,000 range, $500,000 maybe, uh, brand new. But that is definitely a serious uh, price jump. But anyway, that is definitely one cool looking combine there if you ask me. Again, the John Deere. X9, 1100, more bushels, more acres, all day performance. X9 demo. It actually has the demo sticker. Oh, that's probably the option. I could take that off. Maybe I should have. I don't necessarily need a demo sticker on it so much anymore. Oh, hello, pipe. That is folded up. Okay, well, I, mean, I guess now that we got a combine, we should probably go find a job for it. So let's see what we've got under contracts here. Field 62, harvesting. What is actually right around here again? We are currently at the shop, right? No, we're actually over here. Okay. The shop is there, but we're actually over here. Okay, so let's see. So we're in the 40s, 50s. There's some 20s up there. High 50s, high 60s down there, 80s down there. Okay, so if we stick with probably looks like the low 50s, 40s, 30s, we should be pretty good. So 62. Uh, 62. 62, that's kind of an odd shape field, not too far away. That might work. Uh, field 52, harvesting. 52, actually, 52 was right there. Actually, that looks pretty good. Let's go with 52. I mean, that looks like a good one to start with. Actually, I probably better make sure. Yes, barley. Okay, we can do that one. Barley on field 52. Now, can I get the combine out of here? That might be the next problem. Let's, uh, I think we're going to go around this way if we can. We're just going <clears> to <throat> drive through the neighbor's field here. I want nothing to see. I think that's the field we can see right over there, right? No, uh, maybe not. That might be 51 I'm looking at down there. Okay, so we got to go one more field here yet. Uh, let's get on the road here. I think maybe if we can. Are the poles spaced out wide enough? Possibly. 60 foot header, everyone. <laughs> definitely, definitely a wide load coming down the road here. Oh, missed the uh, pole, but got the tree. Still got the tree. Oh, my goodness. There's that branch that's hanging out just a little bit there. There we go. 
Uh-oh. Road signs. Uh, what's the collision like on the road signs? Okay, good. <clears throat> Just don't tell the road commission, everyone. Nothing to see there. Well, seed signs. Okay, no collision on those, I guess. Or if there is a collision, it wasn't hitting the header. Oh, mailbox. That wasn't even our mailbox. Okay, field 52. Yep, there we go. This one's field 52. Let's uh, fold this beast of a combine out. Okay, and there we go. Out of curiosity, if I get out, does the ladder fold down? Yes, it does. Okay, so once we're out, the ladder folds down. And once we get in, the ladder folds up. Okay, cool. Contact. Yeah, the exhaust is messing with that there just a little bit, isn't it? Yep, the exhaust you can see through, like, the fabric. Okay. Whoops. Okay, we need to get some uh, GPS going here. So Alt C, Control S. Let's do. I think this is going to be zero, if I remember correctly. Yep. Hold that to the combine. Let's get an auto width on that, which is supposed to be Alt R of them, but for some reason, that does not work for me. Uh, it works on the multi player, which leads me to believe I probably got some sort of key binding conflict that's unfortunately conflicting with that. Oh, well, is what it is. Okay, we are filling up very quickly here. Very quickly. Which <laughs> we better. Uh, Continue on with the upgrading of our harvesting kit here. I, mean, I thought we maybe would invest in a grain cart, maybe? I'm thinking. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Our auger wagons, as they're called in the games, I guess. Let's see. We got a Demco 22 Series 1300. That's probably not really big enough for this combine, is it? Although I have not used that one yet, so that might be uh, worth checking out. Just so we could uh, give it a try. What do we got on here for options? Oh, we got tracks. Lizard tracks. Was that... Oh, with 3D tracks too yet? I don't know, man. That's uh, that might just be the ticket right there. That might just be the ticket. With well, USA design scale, sure. Uh, electric tarp, absolutely. Front chain, sh uh, front chain. Sure, why not? Rear hitch, sure. Oversized sign, yeah, definitely oversized. <laughs> okay, just uh, just put all the options on it. Why not? Right. Wish that was a little bit bigger though. Uh, what else do we got? Let's just take a look. Brent Avalanche. Oh, yes. I mean, we got the Brent Avalanche 2596. This also has 3D tracks, by the way. I don't know. I mean, this might just be the... Uh, this might just be the one to go with for this combine. What do you folks think? I mean, the biggest combine in the world. As far as I know, I'm going to correct me if I'm wrong. This is, I think, this is considered the biggest production combine in the world. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I mean, is there any combines bigger than the John Deere X9-1100? As far as I know, I mean, at this point, there's not even that many, like, class 10 combines, necessarily. So I believe uh, before the 7 John Deere's S790, I believe that was still considered... Uh, we're going to need a tractor for that grain cart, aren't we? Uh, John Deere's S790, that was still considered a class 9 combine, as far as I know. And yes, I do have a tractor picked out for this. Actually, you know what? Someone said they wanted to see the Versatile. The first time might have some problems, though. Yeah. I see the lights are flashing. Wheel setup. Wheel weights. Whoa. That's some triples, everyone. Don't know about the triples on that, because those are like the wide triples too, yeah. But I could definitely go for some duels. Some GPS. Yeah. Someone said they wanted to see the verse time. Not sure if we're going to put that on the grain cart, though. Because um, I did also have the request for the John Deere 9620RX. And let's see what's here. The, the debate, everyone, is between like the Case Quad Track or the John Deere qu uh, Quad Track here. So we got three, yeah, we got 3D tracks on this one. 88 inch, 36 inch rain cap, long pipe. I think we're going to go with this. To be honest, seven back weights, we'll throw some extra, I don't know, do we really need back weights? Sure, why not? It's a big grain cart. Yep, we'll take that. Gen 4 monitor, 100 year celebration decals, just uh, bling it out. How much? Oh, okay, we've got 1.2 million left. We're quickly running out of money. Very quickly. Rock box, no. We don't need no rock box numbers. No, we're good there. Definitely bump that up to the 9620. Throw some GPS on it. Okay, there we go. And then I want to how you spend... Like, uh, how much is this here? 
646,000. That did not include the grain cart, so another 846. That's about how you spend about $2 million, Evan, real quick. Real quick. Oh, and this, this like, is completely full, isn't it? Okay, better get the grain cart over there. Also, over between episodes here, I mentioned this last episode. There is an auto drive configuration file available for this map. I do have that loaded in. Hopefully, you can uh, see that there. Actually, if I bring that up here, so there's, yeah, fields and know, all the cell points. It sounded like uh, whoever did this had like everything in here, everyone. So it's like ready to go if I understood it correctly. That is pretty cool. So we might uh, be making use of that here at some point. Uh, for now, I can, I can drive this down to the uh, field. We'll see once if, I don't know if he has this uh, set up for grain carting or not. But we might uh, just give that a try, one. Figure out where we need to take this uh, grain to and see what's if uh, auto drive will do it for us. Oh, yes, I mean, that's a pretty good looking site there. John Deere 96 20 RX with a Brent 2596 grain cart. That's 2,000, basically 600 bushels it's supposed to hold, everyone. You know, again, typically a lot of times when it comes to those ratings, yeah, it says 2,600 bushels, but in reality, it's probably closer to maybe, you know, 2,400 or 500, somewhere in there. A lot of times, like with wagons too, you get a 250 bushel wagon, everyone, uh, at least in my experience, about the most we could ever get in there was about 220, so we are always... You know, at most 30 bushels, and typically it was right around the, the 200s, everyone. Didn't typically get much more than 200 bushels and 250 bushel hanging. Like, really? Rated right for 250, but the most you can get in there is 200 typically, or 220 at the most. So I'd assume it would be the uh, same situation with this probably as well. 2596, probably more like 2500 reasonable, maybe 2400 somewhere in there. Out of curiosity for any of my uh, viewers watching, any of my viewers watching out there actually run one of these grain carts. Do we have any viewers out there that runs one of these or has one of these in real life? Also, I have to mention, everyone, one of the few combines here that actually has a long enough pipe for the 60-foot header. Uh, I believe the case does the John Deere S7 9780 does with the longest pipe extension as does I think the new Kloss that came with a Kloss DLC I think that pipe is almost long enough as well if I remember correctly or is long enough the one thing with the 60 foot header of having a pipe that's actually long enough on the combine and the uh, the John Deere X9 actually does I mean and it's you know I, I would say that's a fairly comfortable distance between the header and the grain cart too yet it's not like it ought to be right next to it. I believe the 790, it works, everyone, but it's a little on the tight side. And I think the same thing for the case as well, if I remember correctly. Why am I not on my GPS line? That's a good question. Don't know. Well, so far, everyone, we're looking pretty good with all the uh, 3D tracks we got going on here. That's kind of one of my goals here, you know, wrapping up here for Farming Simulator. 19 of and again farming simulator 22 is right around the corner here everyone we're looking at uh what are we looking at here let's see what's here uh this will go live on tuesday right today is monday yeah today is monday uh so this video will go live on tuesday so tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday yeah we're looking at what about seven days everyone seven days here in farming simulator 22 will be released and I don't know about you folks watching, but I'm definitely getting excited for that. Looking forward to playing some of uh, the new game there. It's looking quite promising from what we're seeing. Uh, though, I will have to say, everyone, there does seem to be one major thing missing yet. Where is GPS? I don't believe I've seen anything about any GPS in the game. That seems to be something that is uh, very sorely, severely lacking, in my opinion. Uh, especially, uh, probably more so for uh, uh, the console users out there. Uh, again, everyone, the GPS mod obviously is not available for console users. It is a scripting type mod. And I would assume this is not going to change in Farm and Simulator 22. I doubt it. You never know, I guess. But I very much doubt that the consoles will be allowed to have scripting style mods. The uh, limitation on the scripting mods, everyone, isn't necessarily giants. It is the uh, console manufacturers themselves limiting that. So... 
that limit I don't think will change in Farm and Simon 22. So that means if there's no GPS built into the game, unfortunately, Evan, there's going to be no GPS for the console users. Uh, on the PC side of things, Evan, we'll probably be fortunate enough. Uh, hopefully some mod author out there will uh, either convert over the current GPS or build a new GPS either way. And then hopefully we'll have a, a GPS in the game because, again, definitely... Definitely one of my more favorite mods, everyone. Uh, as I used to say back in Farming Simulator 13, 15, 17, my absolute all-time favorite mod, everyone, is the GPS mod. Just can't beat it, in my opinion. Everyone can't be beaten. Okay, uh, cultivating. That one is uh, finished. That's field 12. Are you actually like, done over there? Looks like you're still hired yet, so let's just uh, get over there. Oh, and 22. I need to move him, don't I? Okay, let's uh, stop you. There's no sense... Uh, Continuing when that contract is finished, we're going to collect on that one. Yeah, we better make some money here because we, we spent like two million of it here this episode. And again, as I mentioned, Evan, we're looking at wrapping this series up. So if we need to add some money into the account, because we just want, let's try this piece of equipment out like the versatile. Like I said, I'm going to do my best to try it. Someone asked for it. We're going to try it here. Not sure on what yet. Maybe we could like do some planting. Maybe we'll see if we can find like a planting contract or something, Evan pick out a big planter and uh, see what we can do for that. That might be a good job for that or maybe some sort of heavy cultivating, plowing. We'll see what we have for contracts. That one, we kind of have like, what, two or three cultivators already, so. Got one on the 8345 R there and of course we just got uh, this one here last episode. We don't have anything for planting yet, I don't believe. So like I said, that might be a good choice. I'm thinking for the versatile. And again, if there's anything you folks would like to see in this series, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Uh, again, I can't guarantee it, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Again, we're getting down to the last couple of days here of Farming Simulator 19. In fact, three more episodes, everyone. Three more episodes. Wow. Uh, for those of you who've been watching the channel here for the past uh, couple of months, uh, what I've been doing, everyone, is doing Farming Simulator videos during the week and then the kind of the real-life videos on the weekends. Uh, that seems to be working out pretty good, if you ask me. You folks can let me know what you think on that. But, yeah, that seems to work pretty good. So, with that being said, everyone, literally three more episodes. Three more episodes. Well, I don't know. We'll see once. If I have time, everyone, we might have to do a couple more just because it's it's the last, right? But we'll see once here. Okay, we'll leave the hired worker on that. Let's go back down to combining here. Where's the field? That was fit. Yeah, 52. There we go. Grab this uh, grain cart here. Speaking of uh, only a few more episodes, we only got a few more apps, a few more minutes in this episode too yet. So, uh, get done. We can get done here real quick. So we're gonna maybe uh, unload the combine. Then I'm gonna see once I can get uh, auto drive set up on this. So we're gonna put you in combine mode. We're on field 52. And I gotta figure out where we need to take this grain here yet as well. Which actually, you know what? That's right. I don't have this set up for a grain carting course, do I? I really need to get like a truck set up for this, don't I? That would be the more proper way to set this. But well, maybe we'll, uh, we'll we'll spend some more money here real quick then, because we need a truck and we're gonna need a trailer to store grain, aren't we? I just realized this. We might we could probably take this down to the sell point the way it is, but that probably is not gonna work out really well. Oh, uh, what do we got for trucks? The LTL 9000. That's always a favorite, but we've used it a few times, so... Don't know if I've ever actually used this one or not. That one is... I forget. I think that's on the official farm and Simon mod hub. Probably available for the consoles, I would assume. Not sure on that one. Uh, I gotta be careful with some of these trucks. I mean, some of these trucks have some pretty nasty air messages in them, so... I'm kind of actually, ooh, 1974 Kenworth W900 flat top. That is a nice looking one. How bad are the air messages? Peter about 389. Is that the one? This is probably the one, right? Five objects, but one component has been loaded. Vehicle wheel configurations. Uh, drive node may not be equal for vehicle. Oh, huh? boy. Traffic collision prevention will not work. Well, that's, yeah, that's typical. Hmm. The only option is GPS. No options on it. Okay, I think we made a decision here, everyone. We're going to go with this one here. I don't think I've used this one yet. Coyote or Roadrunner, huh? Got to go with a Roadrunner, right? Doesn't actually seem to change anything. 
Uh, yeah, we don't need GPS on it. Only goes 49 miles an hour. I just realized this. What What is up with uh, Giants and their slow trucks? Since when do trucks only go 49 mile an hour? Where's the trailer? Oh, there's the trailers. Uh, I can tell you folks, for a matter of fact, going down the highway, trucks go a whole lot faster than 49 mile an hour. Uh, Wilson combination. Let's see what's there. That's 60. Wait a minute. What was that? Oh, 40. Okay. I, th I thought I seen 149. Not sure where I seen that. Oh, whoa. That is a half a mil. Okay. That is 1 million. Wow. Okay. Kind of tempted to try that one. I'm just, uh, you know what? Let's go with it. I don't use uh, OP equipment very often. Uh, you know what? What's the configuration here? Uh, stainless, pure, uh, stainless, sure. Don't know how well I'm going to be able to make this uh, grain cart work here. I have one of the course. We'll, we'll see once here. Might be quicker, to be honest. I would just maybe set this up with... Yeah, no, never mind. Everyone. I was going to say set it up with course play, but no, no. We're, we're not going to end the game that way, everyone, by setting up course play courses for harvesting. Yeah, we're, we're kind of done with that whole course play debacle. Uh, shenanigans, mess, nasty, horrible mod. Done with that. Look at that. Nice. It lines up right on this edge here with the GPS tool. Hey, hell, we'll take that. And while we are filling up very quickly. I wonder if this is like fertilized or something on this field. Because, yeah, wow, well, this, uh, this field, maybe it, well, it's 60 foot head or two, I suppose, everyone. So that does make sense, right? We're harvesting 60 feet worth of barley here. And that combine is filling up quickly. Maybe I should have gotten the bigger tank. On. <laughs> Thinking I should have maybe got the bigger tank here. I just assume because it, most of the time when you do these contracts, I mean, a lot of times you don't have fertilized fields. So a lot of times the yields are not the greatest. And I don't know, maybe this isn't the greatest yield on this field. I'm not sure of them, but uh, it sure seems like it is yielding halfway decent. Hey, we'll take it, right? We'll take it, I guess. Oh, that's right. The animation on this header never got fixed, did it? That's kind of too bad. Oh, and we're full, just like that. Okay, green card again. Actually, let's see once here. Can we get this to work? What I'm thinking, actually, where do we need to actually take this to? This needs to go field 52 uh, to the FCA. Okay, so that's actually not that far away. Can I just tell you, like, to go to the FCA? Uh, is that not on here? I actually wonder if it might be up above. Ah, uh, FCA, perfect. Make sure he's on the field here. Oh, and then we're outside of the combine here at the moment, so that's not going to work either. We need to get back in the combine. Otherwise, he's not going to find the combine. Um, and typically you want to change. Let's see. Where are the settings here again? Maybe is it in the combine? Avoid fruit. We'll just turn that to no. Restrict unloader to field. Might want to turn that on. We'll see once. Okay, we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll those changes. Actually, we canceled those changes, didn't we? Oh, well. Okay, let's hop over into the combine here a minute. I think there's some uh, combine settings I want to check. Yes, there's the combine tab. Find driver, yes. So let's switch that to yes. And is he moving? Not yet. Problem is, I wonder if I get out, then he will not. Actually, I want to hire a worker. 
Uh, hired worker. Actually, you know what? Let's turn off. There we go. Yeah, turn off GPS. Then we can hire worker. There we go. Then we can hop back over here. What's the 9620RX doing? Waiting for coal. Okay, yeah, hasn't started moving yet. Let's also switch this back off. Apply those settings. Run. Oh, wait. I know what the problem is. I bet you we need to switch the combine. That's what I did wrong. We need to switch this to field 52 here as well. There we go. Now he's moving. Up. Okay, we got it. Okay, well, anyway, with that, everyone, it is time to wrap it up here this episode. Again, thanks for watching. Everyone, comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. Uh, and unfortunately, we didn't actually get to read any comments here this episode. We'll try to do that next episode here. And uh, read you folks' comments here again. So with that, everyone, thanks for watching. Until next time.